love it. Look at this video. This looks really weird. On behalf of WCVH, this is CV Today. Good afternoon. Today is Friday, September 14th. Now, over to Jamie with some more announcements. Thank you. The quote of the day today is, Knock me down nine times, but I get up ten, by Bel Calise Almanzar. Lunch for today is mozzarella cheese sticks with no hot combo. And lunch for Tuesday is buckskin bowl with no hot combo. Now, over to your weather report. Oh, hey Beth, do you know what the weather is for today? Oh yeah, it was going to be cloudy with a high 77 and a low 66. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Hey, hey, headline news is this way. Oh. <laughs> Even hours before it's made landfall, Hurricane Florence is just beginning to carve out a path of destruction. It's been a real nail biter because it seems like none of us can figure out where or when this thing is going to do something. More than 180,000 people are already without power in North Carolina, and that number is expected to increase significantly over the next few Don't days. Don't relax. Don't get complacent. Stay on guard. Florence is making its way on shore at a snail's crawl bringing with it a potential 10 trillion gallons of rainfall. In the town of New Bern, North Carolina, flooding began shortly after the first outer bands of the storm hit. This Channel 12 has been evacuated. Oaks Road is flooded. We're afraid we're going to get trapped at the TV station. By early Friday morning, more than 100 people who didn't heed warnings to evacuate had been rescued from their homes, according to the New Bern mayor. And more were waiting rescue. And according to officials up and down the Carolina coast, it's going to get worse before it gets it better. It is massive. It is covering literally two states. And it would be a huge mistake to underestimate the devastation and the power that this storm has. I'm Sophia Steed, reporting. Attention juniors who are planning on attending college, it is time to begin preparations for the SATs by taking the PSATs next month here at CV. The PSAT gives you the opportunity to practice and prepare for the SAT test. The PSAT will take place here at CV on Saturday, October 13th. Please bring your $20 check made payable to CVSD to Ms. McDaniel in the guidance office. The deadline to register is October 6th. Attention to any students taking robotics and automation in marking period 2. The robotics class will be taking a field trip on October 25th to tour Tyson Foods and other manufacturing facilities. If you would like to be part of this field trip, please come visit Mr. Thomas in room 156 to pick up a permission slip. All permission slips are due back no later than October 1st if you'd like to attend. Now, here's a quick video to show how CVHS is taking on the Five Science Initiative. I thought I had it all together, but I was led astray the day you walked away. You were the clock that was ticking in my heart. Change my state of mind. But love so hard to find. Your feelings changed like the weather. When it's from the rain, all that I would pay. How can I go on with the cup all in the palm? Love so hard to find. When someone's on the
attention seniors, class of 2019, last call for senior portraits. Senior portraits will be taken here in the auditorium by Life Touch Studio today and Tuesday, September 18th. If you did not have your senior picture taken by Life Touch earlier this summer, you must do so on one of these dates or you will not be put in the yearbook. Each of you have received the postcard in the mail with your specific appointment time. The list of all appointments is posted outside of the main office and outside of the cafeteria on the senior bulletin board. Please check this list for your appointment and make a note of it. It is very important that you are on time for your picture. Thanks! Do you like to read books, watch movies, and eat food? Do you have a love of art and culture? Is music your passion? Do you take photos that can capture a moment or event? The Valley Voice CVHS's online student-produced newspaper is looking for unique, interesting, and involved students to join the newspaper staff. Please check your email for an application or pick up an application outside Mrs. Upton's room, 102, anytime this week. Applications are due next Wednesday, September 19th. See Mrs. Upton if you have any questions. Any student interested in CVG must submit their permission slip by today to Mrs. Scales in room 135 or to Dr. Fox. Now over to Film Talk. After Tegan left studio, Austin could not go on and do Film Talk without him. The legend of Film Talk might die without two hosts to save the segment. But luckily, two heroic forces came along to rescue the dying show. Karis and Becca, experts on film and comedy. Without them, we may have lost Film Talk forever. So that's how the two of you became the hosts of Film Talk? Nah, Mr. Thomas just said that he needed someone to do it and no one else wanted to, so... I'm Karis. And I'm Becca, and welcome to Film Talk. So our first movie we have is Unbroken Path to Redemption. This movie is based off of Laura Hillenbrand's Unbroken Path to Redemption. It is a true story of Louis Zamperini, an Olympic athlete and World War II hero. His trauma-filled life and unfulfilled dreams direct him to a road of twists and turns. He then meets Cynthia Applewhite, who leads him to a faith path of faith. <laughs> this movie is a bit more slow-paced than our other two picks. Personally, I would wait until this movie came out on Netflix. Our next movie is Mandy. Um, this is a very special movie starring the iconic Nicolas Cage and directed by Panos Cosmatos, who also directed Beyond the Black Rainbow, another unique movie similar to Mandy. This film is about Red Miller and Mandy Bloom, a couple living their nor very normal lives when suddenly they are disrupted by a very strange occurrence. After Mandy catches the eye of cult leader Jeremiah Sand, he leads his cult to kidnap Mandy and take her away. Action and distress follow Red Miller in his pursuit to get the love of his life back to him. Our honorable mention for this week is A Simple Favor. A Simple Favor looks like a thriller of a movie starring Anna Kendrick and Stephanie as Stephanie and Blake Lively as Emily. Two best friends who don't know much about each other as they thought they did. This movie takes a little peek at the past of Emily and finds out her true identity. And that's pretty shitty. <laughs> Our feature film for this week is The Predator. This sci-fi movie is technically a sequel, but feels like a reboot of the classic 1987 movie Predator. This action-filled movie is about to <laughs> about the return of out-of-this-world aliens, the Predators. And now <laughs> only a group of ex-military misfits are able to save the human race. Predator is directed by Shane Black, who directed Iron Man and was also in the original Predator movie. Many commented that this movie is more about the action sequences than the actual storyline, so maybe don't go watch this if you're looking for a film with a deep meaning. Now over to the trailer. <laughs> Wait, we have a word. Let me guess. He's done something crazy. Show me again, I want to break your neck. Welcome to the Looney Bus. McKenna. Nebraska Williams. That's Coyle. That's Lynch. With Mercs. Why are you here? I don't think you believe me. Come on, man. I had a run in with a space engine. Light him up! It's crazier than the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing that killed my men. Alien. 
predators that exploit weakness, tracks its prey like a game. Seems to enjoy it. It's not a predator, that's a sports hunter. Well, we took a vote. Predator's cooler, right? Do you have a plan? Ex sniper with PTSD and a team that's mental? You're insane, right? Yeah! Gentlemen, they're large, they're fast. Figured something out. I think we're gonna die. Just pointing it out. A big boy's a hunter. He brought his dogs with him. I came to the race hell. I can't lie. One shot, one kill. It's real. I ain't gonna shoot one shot if you ain't ready to die. I never think I got shooters behind. Come on! You are now not in the presence of nice guys. The Predator. Attention student drivers, parking permits must be purchased if you are driving to school. If you are driving to school without a parking permit, you will be fined. If you already purchased a parking permit, this is a reminder that you may only park in the student parking lot by the tennis courts. If you park in the staff parking lot, you will receive a parking fine. If you receive more than three parking fines, your car will be towed. Natalie Keel and Joe Cardina, please see Mr. Thomas in room 153 by the end of the day today. Thanks! The administration team will be conducting a monthly attendance challenge. At the end of each month, the grade with the highest monthly attendance rate will win a grade level incentive. Want to help your grade win? Come to school every day, all day. Check the student lobby after lunch for daily updates. Now over to CV Sports. There's an away girls tennis match at Garden Spa at 4, dismissal at 2.30. There's an away field hockey game at Ephrata at 4, dismissal at 2.15. Tomorrow, there's an away boys soccer game against Exeter at 6.15. Tomorrow, there's a home girls soccer game against Exeter at 11. Tomorrow, is the Buckskin Classic for the tennis team. Tonight is the Lampier Bowl here at the high school. The theme is white out and we're expecting everyone to be there and be rowdy. Come out and support the Buck. Now over to sports highlights. Fumbled a moment ago and was saved by his teammate. They may have an issue there. Here's a pick. That's an issue. Out of the hand of Flacco and into the rookie zone. Big toss. Dalton to his right end zone. Touchdown. Third down and two. Here's a blitz. Pass is caught. Good catch. A.J. Green. Foot race. His second of the game. Touchdown, Bengal. Good protection, pass is caught for the touchdown. Guess who? Number three. Bender bodied up. So a first down from the one. Here's Buck Allen trying to get into the end zone, and he dumped. <laughs> Second and goal. Over the middle. Boy, touchdown, Bengals. <laughs> Flacco's in trouble. Finds his man for the touchdown, and that's Andrews. And what... Is a weapon. Those types of second and 14 to the end zone. Pass is caught for the touchdown. John Brown. Such great hustle by Sean Williams. The design was good because you've got safety blitz off the left side. They roll the pocket, and Flacco just simply doesn't feel him right on his back, knowing that he could he didn't have. That's all the announcements we have for you today. On behalf of WCVH, I'm Brooklyn. Alongside Mateo, and this is CV Today. Have a fantabulous Friday. Bye.